Today Our Adventures brings us to one of my favorite cemeteries in all of Los Angeles, the Forest Lawn Memorial Park in Glendale. Today we're over in this corner by this old church. It's called the Wee Kirk Churchyard. We're visiting the grave of Jimmy Stewart. Born in 1908, James Maitland Stewart graduated from Princeton with a degree in architecture. What he built was an incredible career as an actor, winning an Oscar for the Philadelphia story. Stewart earned medals for bravery in World War II, and President Clinton today called him a national treasure. What is it you want, Barry? What do you want? You, you want the moon? Just say the word and I'll throw a lasso around it and pull it down. Hey, that's a pretty good idea. I'll give you the moon, Barry. I'll take it. Then what? Well, then you could swallow it. And it all dissolves, see? And the moonbeams that shoot out of your fingers and your toes and the ends of your hair. You really can't see it from where we are standing right now. Everything I read online says that Jimmy Stewart's final resting place is over here by the statue of a man shooting a bow and arrow. Which means we gotta walk the hillside, which is gonna take us right up here to this pathway to this church before we get up there. Looks like they had some sort of service over here. Forest lawn. And just a quick clarification, there's a forest lawn Glendale, which is where we are today, but there's also a forest lawn Hollywood. I'm sure at some point we'll be taking you guys over there. Just look at how beautiful this thing is. I love cemeteries and churchyards. Even over here, the sign that says, We Kirk O the Heather, Forest Lawn Memorial Park. Nice font. To the left of the churchyard, I'm hearing running water. So let's go over here and take a look at it. From what I can tell, from what I can see so far, it's rather beautiful. What's this say? Ventry Walk. Oh wow. This is rather gorgeous. The statue I see. Growing up, the very first Jimmy Stewart movie I've ever seen was a film called Harvey. My dad showed it to me. Jimmy Stewart plays a character who has an imaginary friend, which is a giant bunny rabbit, and only he can see it. It's a great movie. You should check it out. But from that point on, I discovered him in another movie that I absolutely love. It's directed by Alfred Hitchcock called Rear Window. Doesn't seem to be in any hurry. He's been laying out all his things on one of the beds. Shirts, suits, coats, socks. Even his wife's, that alligator handbag what wife had on the bedpost. Well, he, he had it hidden in the dresser. At least it was there. Now, he took it out, went to the telephone, made a long distance call. He had his wife's jewelry in the handbag. He seemed worried about it. Asked somebody's advice over the telephone. Someone not his wife. Yeah, well, I never saw him ask her for advice. She volunteered plenty, but I never saw him ask her for any. I wonder where he's going. I don't know. Suppose he doesn't come back again. Oh, he'll be back. His things are still there. Well, I guess it's safe to put on some lights now. Jack. Oh, 
Okay, he can turn it on now. He must have gone someplace to the right. All right, I think it's about time we go and pay our respects to Jimmy Stewart. In order to do that, we gotta walk through this area where it looks like they have different services for funerals. Jessica's over here reading plaques and this is what she, something that she does very, very good. The wishing chair. This is rather interesting. Forest Lawn has built this wishing chair of stone. They say the fairies have blessed these stones the tradition tells us that good fortune will forever smile upon the bride and bridegroom who sit in this chair on their wedding day and hand in hand, recite together the verse of the tablet in front of the wishing chair. I think Jessica and I, we have to do this. All right, so we've got to hold hands. Hold hands, and we're gonna say the bottom part because I don't think you can have the top. Yeah, so the, the top of it looks like it's what do you want to call that? Gaelic? It's in Gaelic. It's in Gaelic. Yeah. And they have a plaque here that allows you to read what it says in English, so to speak. Or, yeah. Are we supposed to say it at the same time? Let's try it. Okay. One, two, three. Dressed, Dressed in, in our best and all alone, alone, we, we sit, sit within, within the wishing the chair, which bodes success for everyone, everyone exchanging bridal kisses, kisses there. there. Does that mean we got a kiss? I love you. It looks like we have our work cut out for us. There's the statue up there on the hill. But this is something we call Cemetery Safari. We don't know exactly where Jimmy Stewart is buried. We know it's here on this hillside, this slope. So we're just going to walk and look at each and every single one of them until we find them. To be fair, we already did some research and we know that he's buried up near the archer. Online it says the man with holding an arrow, but he's an archer. So we're walking up the hillside right now. It's rather steep. It's very steep. I can't believe they don't have stones for walking. Oh, it's beautiful though. I mean, look at this. Right? It truly is a beautiful day here. He's on this hillside somewhere. Jessica and I kind of have a game. Whoever can find the plot first in the cemetery safari wins. There's never really a prize though, is there? Basically with a little help of online research, we found him very easily. The statue of the archer is right here. And over here in the bottom left hand side of your corner, this is the final resting place of Jimmy Stewart. That's wild. James Maitland Stewart. May 20th, 1908 to July 2nd, 1997. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. Looking closely, you can see that people who have come here to visit have left pennies all over his stone. It's pretty wild that Jimmy Stewart is buried here in Glendale, well, Los Angeles. His birthplace is Pennsylvania, where I'm from. Not too far from where I'm from, he grew up, and years ago I got to visit his house that he was born in and the Jimmy Stewart Museum. And now today, this. Like I said, my first introduction to him was from my father in a movie that not, not many people know about called Harvey. So this kind of hits home. In February of 1997, Jimmy Stewart was hospitalized for an irregular heartbeat, which later turned into a pulmonary embolism one week later. And surrounded by his children, he died on July 2nd, 1997 at the age of 89 in his home in the Beverly Hills. His final words to his family was, I'm going to be with Gloria now. And Gloria, his wife, is buried right next to him.
Gloria Hatrick Stewart. They pretty much did everything together. March 10th, 1918 to February 16th, 1994. To say in our most loving memories she will always be with us she made life better yeah I love something like this I mean so many people get cremated and so many people get interred but I've always loved the idea of being in the ground and it's actually I don't know it warms my heart that his last words were I'm gonna be with Gloria now and he was he is you know, maybe this is me just being a little bit emotional and lovey-dovey, but I'm in a sharing mood. I mean, after all, Jimmy Stewart, his last final words, I'm going to be with Gloria now, kind of just, you know, got me thinking. I mean, I don't know where Jessica and I are going to end up, whether we're living here in California or somewhere else or what graveyard we're going to end up. But hopefully it's going to be something very unique and picturesque and hopefully with a statue. And I quote Jessica in saying this, I think she said, uh, almost quote for quote, our grave has to have a statue with boobies on it. Whichever it is, if you're a fan of this channel and you're watching this somewhere down the line and you want to come find us wherever we are buried, do it. We only hope that somebody comes and visits our graves, that we're buried together and just in love, right? Again, just being all a little bit of mushy and gushy, all that jazz. It's a beautiful cemetery, it's a beautiful day. Forest Lawn Memorial Park, Glendale, California, the final resting place of Jimmy Stewart. It was George Bailey in a small town and he had his he had his hopes and his desires, okay, his loves, and he, he did his best. To my big brother George, the richest man in town. It's been a wonderful life for me. Never stays a day. A bad luck's always coming my way.